ladies and gentlemen, Virgil Ward here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I have to ask you to make sure that you study. You have to study the word. We must study the word. And we know it is later than we think. It's later than we think. And we are running out of time. And the solution is Jesus Christ. And he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should have perished, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. As we continue our study in the ministry of healing, this is one of my favorite books. This is one of my favorite books. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. The kind of gracious and Father, I thank you for this day. Right now, Father, I ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Scripture reading is coming from Proverbs. I'm going to do uh, Proverbs uh, 8, 17. Proverbs 8, 17. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. That's Proverbs 8, 17. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So let us go into our topic today, Commence in Courage. It's that cultivate the habits of speaking well of others. Dwell upon the good qualities of those with whom you associate and see as little as possible of their errors and failings. When tempted to complain of what someone has said or done, praise something in that person's, person's life or character. Cultivate thankfulness. Praise God for his wonderful love in giving Christ to die for us. It never pays to think of our grievances. God calls upon us to think of his mercy and his matchless love that we may be inspired with praise. It said, earnest workers have no time for dwelling upon the faults of others. We cannot afford to live on the hearts of others faults and or failing evil speaking is a two-fold curse falling more heavily upon the speaker than upon the hearer he who scattered the seed of dissension and strife reaps in his own soul the deadly fruits the very act of looking for evil in others Develop evil in those who look. Let me go back. It says the very act of looking for evil in others, develop evil in those who look. By dwelling upon the faults of others, we are changed into the same image. But by beholding Jesus, talking of his love and perfection of character, we become changed into his image. By contemplating the lofty ideas he had placed before us, we shall be uplifted into a pure and holy atmosphere, even the presence of God. When we abide here, there goes forth from us a light of irradiated or illuminating light all who are connected with us. Instead of criticizing and condemning others, say, I must work out my own salvation. If I cooperate with him who desires to save my soul, I must watch myself diligently. I must put away every evil from my, uh, from my life. I must put away every evil from my life. I must overcome every fault. I must become a new creature in Christ. Then instead of weakening those who are striving against evil, I can strengthen them by encouraging words. We are to, we are too indifferent in regarding to one another. Too often we forget that our fellow laborers are in need of strength and cheer. Take care to assure them of your interest and sympathy. Help them by your prayers and let them know that you do it. Mm. So that concludes our topic, uh, Commence in Courage. So tomorrow we go into uh, Patient with the Airing. Patience with the Airing. Okay, so that will be our topic for tomorrow. So here is uh, my hymn, and I believe I'm on verses 5. Verses 5, I believe I'm on verses 5. So it says, Life is great. So sing about it. It says, God is great in Christ. He loved us, and we should but never can love that suffer hope and trust. When disciples turned and ran, 
love that brooks through death forever praise that loving living man so this is our last um verse on life is great to so sing about it so tomorrow we're going to go to all five verses okay so that concludes our topic today commence in courage so let us make, remain faithful my sister my brother the hour is late for us to be turning our eyes on others we need to keep it on ourselves so we need to be able to say lord it is me it is me that that is standing in the need of prayer it's not my brother, it's not my sister, but it's me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious and Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. Right now, Father, I ask you that you will take us, Father, or take me, mold me, shape me into what you want me to be, Father. Right now, Father, I surrender my life to you. Take full control, Father. If there's anything that I have done that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father, I ask you that you forgive me now and wash me whiter than snow. Father, continue to be with my listeners today. Continue to bless them, Father. And we forever give you all the praise, the honor, and glory that is due your name. In Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Okay, my brothers, my sister. So do me one favor. Do me one favor. Can you go ahead and like, and then you can share, share. It doesn't cost you anything to just share. Can you do me that one favor? Could go ahead and share, share, share. So get ready, get ready. Jesus is coming soon. But not only get ready, we need to stay ready 24-7. Why? Because he's coming back for holy people, holy individual that has his character. So let us remain faithful until the end. Take care until tomorrow.